Stevenson falls to Mary Washington tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Um, you know, coach the, the errors, right? Like the, it's particularly the unforced errors. I know it's a young team. We mm-hmm. talked before the game. This is what you're working through. But, you know, I, I, I feel like that was kind of the story tonight, right? Well, you know, it, it's so funny. We we have a, a game two games ago where Clear was just not good at all, and it really hurt us. And and then we, we change the Clear, and we go 17 for 19 in the very next game. So we're thinking, all right, we got the Clear under control. Right. Well done, team. We don't really make any significant changes, and we come back, and we're 10 for 15, and it felt like we were about 10 for 70 in the clear today. That's what a young team is. A young team just has to learn to persevere and get better the next practice and get better the next game, and this team does that. We put together some fantastic defensive effort yep. today. We took 10 shots in the fourth quarter today 10 shot there have been games we haven't taken 10 shots in in this early part of the season so to, to take that many shots in a quarter that shows me that we're we're starting to put together an offense we're start we we won the draw battle which is one of the things yep. we wanted to do Huge. we played great defense at times today we caused so many turnovers that when we need it when we when we needed to uh reagan in the in the second half uh, just save after stop after save after stop after cause turnover um we're doing all the right things we, we, we're gonna uh just keep trying to get better and and we we got to get in the win column because it, you know that we need to validate all the hard work we're putting into this i wanted to ask about like how how this team because you, you've talked so much about how coachable they are yeah. and all that like the, the spirits can easily be brought down by a tough start to the season by just the results not going your way how how have, has everyone handled it, and how have they not allowed it themselves to be down just because you start feeling sorry for yourself when you're not getting results? Well, I, you know, that's just not the way that I coach. I, I it, You can't feel sorry for yourself. You put in that much hard work. It can be a little sad if you don't win a game that you, that, you know, you put your heart into, but that maybe is one individual, and it's the job of me as your teammate or me as your coach that when you're having a down day, I've got to bring – got to loan you my energy. Mm. And when I loan you my energy I'm saying you know I'm going to put you on my back and you're going to be okay until this next game I just really think that this group just works so hard and they want the best for each other I don't know if you could see but we were you know we did not have a good first half and the energy on the sideline came out better in the second half and we were louder and we were more supportive and we we're, we're really trying to teach this team to celebrate the little things, and, and they are, and they're going to get the wins, and they're going to start surprising some people. Um, we just have to put it all together. All right. You, know? you, you mentioned Reagan. Yeah. My word. Like, what what did you see? What was the thought process? And it, it, it wasn't just, like, the total of saves. It was one was low, one was, you know, while the, you had an attacker on the crease. Like, it was doing a little bit of everything. Well, I think that uh, she practices very hard. She, you know, she she does individuals, she's trying to get herself better. Her stick speed has improved so so much. We've uh, gone to the drawing, back to the drawing board after last year, and really changed how she was going to make some low saves. Hmm. She hated us for she hated us for it for a little bit, and and today I'm going to say we're forgiven, right, Reagan? We're forgiven today. Um, you know, we 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 thought that maybe uh, we could throw them off with a right-handed goal and then you know having the left and then the right and and it did it threw them off a little bit um but what turned in what was a short-term plan turned into be a long-term plan and and we kept her in until we ran a special defense that that sophie's just a little more experienced with um but i'm i'm you know i'm I'm so happy for her because she does work so so hard and i'm glad to see that her have that success today all right give me one goal for spring break give me one goal for when we come back from arizona i want this to have happened we need to put 60 minutes together we're going to turn the ball over but we can't let one mistake turn into two so i know that's not an easy goal for me to say hey, we accomplished that. Um, I want a game where we have double-digit goals. I want 12 goals. When we get 12 goals, we'll start winning games. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm counting on it. Let's make that happen. Coach, I know it's tough, but always appreciate it. Good to see you. Sure, thanks. Thank you. All right, she's Kathy Raley. Because we were talking about her, we'll go Reagan first. Come on in. Join us on the hot seat. 
after an unbelievable second half tonight. Uh, were you feeling something when you, you came in to start? Did you know what was about to happen? Uh, no. I, w- I was hot. I had a really good warm-up at halftime, and we were just trying to get ourselves through that third-quarter energy that we've been dipping down the last couple games, and we had 60 straight minutes of 100% energy all the way through, and it just kept me going as well. All right, so the Coach mentioned the work on the low shots. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what that looked like, and did you feel it paying off? It definitely paid off. I've been I've been sitting more. I'm a, a lot more explosive to the ball. She's been making me in practice literally drop all the way to my knees. And <laughs> it, as old as it makes me feel, it's definitely Hang been on, paying right, off. Show it, show it, show us, <laughs> oh, show no, us, no. show us. Come on, we got to see it. That's the work. That's the work, and it and it pays off. Yes, it did. It did. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> how how good does it feel? I, I know you'd rather come in a win. I understand that that's the way that you want things, but how good does it feel for all of that work to have paid off the way that it did tonight? I, it's great. I mean, it, that was my first real good collegiate game. And I had 11 other girls in front of me that I had trusted 100%. And we just put, I'd say we put a good 58 of 60 minutes together. We played really hard all the way through. And just our, our issue right now is the clear, and we're going to fix that. All right, now we need to get to know you a little bit. I want to know, what's the last uh, show that you've binged? Give me... Oh. Okay, I, I watched... Even N- if it's embarrassing, by the way. Oh, no. My all-time favorite show is NCIS. I've watched okay. it through beginning to end probably four times now, and I just got my roommate and I, to, we watched it all the way from beginning to end. Are She's you, never seen it before. Are you like an amateur? Like, do you feel like you could solve cases? Do oh, you feel? For sure. Yeah. But I, I'm going to be the nurse. I'm going to be the nurse. No, I'm not the investigator. <laughs> uh, who can we shout out? Who's maybe watching this you want to say hello to? Thank them for your their support. Definitely my parents and my and my younger siblings. Um, they've been with me from beginning to end since second grade, since we started this. They're not here tonight, but I know that they were watching the whole time, and it just means a lot that they've been behind me. Hey, Ray, congratulations on a great effort. Hopefully, the next time we're talking about a big win on top <laughs> of it, but really incredible performance. It was a lot of fun to watch. Thank you. Thank you. It's Reagan Torbert. Now let's bring in Kellyanne. One more. Kellyanne Cosa with us here after Stevenson suffers tough loss to Mary Washington. Kellyanne, let me talk through. We were just talking with Coach about how you guys have kept your spirits up. It would be easy to feel sorry for yourselves and be down after this type of start. How have you guys prevented yourselves from knowing you're a young team, you're working through things, from feeling too down? Um, I wouldn't say it would be easy to feel down, especially with the team that we have. It, it's easy to not feel down with the girls that are surrounded by us. Everybody's out there. You can tell everybody has heart. Nobody doesn't want to be there. And you can tell everybody works for their teammates. It's super easy to go out there and practice in games every single day, knowing that I have however many teammates behind my back and like I'm behind their back at all times, knowing that whatever happened in the last game, we're going to go out there and give our all the next game. And whatever happens, it's because we put our heart onto the field. Um, coach brought up the draws, right? It was a big part of the game tonight. Take me through, and, and you're kind of involved in every aspect of that. How important was it, and how good did it feel to really put together a solid performance at a night? The draw is such a – it's an up-in-the-air 50-50 mind game for me. I mean, to, like, actually grab the ball, get it in your stick, it's like – you're on cloud nine, like, you know what's gonna happen, like, you're trying to talk to your teammates, like, the ball goes up, you grab it, and you're like, something that we did and practiced together, and we communicated and worked together just worked, and it's awesome to know that everybody else on the circle is giving 100%, and you did too, and it all happened to work out. It was working the night, there's no doubt about it. Um, How close do you feel like this team is to putting everything together? One game. I mean, one practice, like, you, it, it's there. I fully believe it's there. Like Reagan said, 58 minutes. I think we had a 58 out of 60 minute game today. We just need that last puzzle piece and it's gonna click very soon. All right, I'm gonna give you the same question I just gave Reagan. I don't care how embarrassing it is. I don't care if it's something that, what's the last show you binged? Friends. Okay, now that's actually very cool. Wait, now wait a second. I'm 40, this is my world, right? How did you discover Friends? My mom and I have been watching Friends since I was young. I've, I've probably finished the season eight or nine times very, now. Very cool. Yeah, I, I like, my mom and I like will recite lines and stuff. Okay. A little, that's a little embarrassing, right, but. Now we have to ask the question, are you more of a Phoebe? Or are you more of a Rachel? Like, do you identify with someone in particular? Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm sure everybody would agree yeah, if they know oh, me. Okay. That's a common 
Yeah. Like everybody on the team would agree with that. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> who are we shouting out? Who's watching? Who do you need to say uh, hello to and thank for their support? Uh, probably my friends back home at Abingdon, Abingdon Fire Company. I know that they will follow and support me, and they um, as much they miss me that I know they're cheering me on from home. Yeah. Kelly, uh, hopefully next one again. We're talking about a huge win. Enjoy the trip out to Arizona. Absolutely. Thanks for coming up Thank here. Thank you so much.